everyone and welcome to another cooking review of Paul the Max so today guys we're gonna be preparing something that is called uh, Marco Polo pancakes and I'm gonna show you the ingredient that we're gonna be using this morning mm -hmm. so so for that recipe we're gonna need a handful of green onions we're gonna need uh, whether uh, you can use flour or you can use the whole uh, the, the complete pancake mix that I'm showing to you guys right now and that will be better you can get the complete pancake mix just in case you don't want to make them homemade though like uh, you know so for that you're gonna need a half cup of complete pancake mix for that you can if you want you can add some more baking powder it, it depends how fluffy you want your pancakes in my case I'm gonna add a little more teaspoon of uh, the baking powder and for that also you're gonna be needing like half cup of coconut cream powder in case you cannot find the coconut cream powder you still can use the coconut the milk like half cup and then I'm gonna use some coloring some uh, green coloring for that because I would like to make my pancake uh, pancake like nice and green so when we got all this when we got all this together we also we're gonna be needing like a half cup of or cold water please do not use uh, warm water we have to for the make we have to use cold water half cup when we got all this together then we have to we have to heat up the skillet and we have to grease the bottom and the temperature for that should be between low and medium heat because we don't want to make our pancakes uh, we don't want to burn the bottoms of our, of our pancakes so when we got all this together then and, uh, what am I gonna do right now I'm, I'm gonna list the ingredients for you guys to write it down so you guys please will grab a piece of paper and a pencil I want to get back to you guys in just a few moments from now all right guys we're back the you people got already laid that have list the ingredients you people already have list the ingredients mean that we're ready to go so we already got the skillet we're warming up the skillet already it's already ready to cook the pancake so you already got here the pancake mix and we're gonna start now doing the pancakes so I like my pancakes small I don't know about you guys but I don't have to I don't have to like to put like too much mix when I'm doing the pancakes I like my smalls I like my pancakes small so so make sure you guys have the right temperature to make the pancakes it has to be between low and medium very important so what is this i mean most of you guys were asking well so what is the marco polo pancake is all about okay well for you guys who know a little bit about history now you can google it it's uh who was marco polo okay marco polo was a a merchant a guy who was from italy and who, he was alive before and during the year 1200 1300 he was a merchant who liked to do business with China and then during those trip he liked to eat something there in China that will call it like a Greek green onion pancake or green scallion pancakes so we got the first one ready and then <clears throat> and then the time come when he couldn't go no more to Italy yeah to, he couldn't go more to China you no, know, get old. But then he will miss the green onion pancake so much. He was looking for a chef, and he was looking for a chef. Well, please, please, I need, 
I miss those scream pancakes so much. And then he, luckily, he found a chef who was willing to work on that idea. A chef from Na Naples, Italy. And then, and then the only thing is that, okay, he brought the idea, but then mm, it happened that what they did, they start doing the, right? They will start preparing the flour and everything to do the green onions. The, the Marco Polo suggests, okay, you cannot put the, the ingredients inside. Can you please put it outside on top? So that's what they did. They put the toppings on top of the, on the, you know, on the flour mix and the dog. And that's how the pizza was created. <laughs> So we got this working already. We got the second pancake ready. And now we're gonna butter the skillet again, tilt the skillet a little. You guys can use a, uh, a skillet like this one I have. Make sure it's non-stick. But in case it's, it's, uh, the skillet is non-stick, then, then you have to butter the bottom. Or you can use also a little flat top grill. It, can be, it will be useful also. So here we're gonna make three, that's it. I'm gonna say the rest for tomorrow or later. So we're working here on the on the third pancake. Okay. Okay. We're working here on the third pancake. So you people can, I believe you might be able to find this, uh, you may be able to find this green onion pancakes at the International House of Pancakes. I'm not really sure, but you can, okay, you can Google it or look it online. You might be able to find them there. Yep. Okay, this one is almost ready. So we got the pancake ready. We're gonna turn on the stove. All right, so we got the pancake. Now we're gonna do the decoration. We're gonna do the plating. So I will see you guys in a few seconds from now to do the plating. Now that the Marco Polo's pancakes are being cooked, we have to serve them. So, like I said, uh, you can say the pancakes, uh, Marco Polo pancake with any side of your choice. In my case, I will use a uh, sunny side eggs and uh, three slices of Spam. So I'm gonna show you guys right now uh, the final uh, outcome. And this is how it looked like. The Marco Polo pancakes right here you can add some green onions on top to the pancake also okay you can put some green scallions and make it look even better so this is how it is very simple very easy simple easy to make this pancake no need uh rocket science to do any of this uh and i you really like this video and please give it a thumbs up if it not, please give it a thumbs down. I would prefer you would give it a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe. And I will see you guys soon for another cooking review of Paul the Max. See you guys soon. Love you guys.